Hello YouTube, Jeff Bosco here. I'm an amateur photographer from Connecticut. I'm gonna do a what's in my camera bag video. I figured I'd do one of these because a lot of the ones you see are either Canon or Sony shooters and there's a lot of them other than like, you know, Jared Pollan or Matt Granger and we all know what's in their bag. They got they got the Holy Trinities. But um I wanted to go more of the budget road. And if you're familiar with uh familiar with uh, Ken Wheeler, the angry photographer, you're probably familiar with these lenses too, but if you're not, then a lot of these lenses might be new to you. So, let's uh, get going. I'm just going to go through them quickly because I got a lot of lenses in here, but first off, oh, yes, the camera bag itself is, uh, this is um, a low pro messenger, pass passport messenger. It does what I need it to do, it's nothing special whatever. Now onto the fun stuff. This is my D700. Uh, legendary camera. Still love it even after eight years. Don't really need to say much about this. Everybody knows what it is. This is a very interesting lens. This is a 500 millimeter f8. Const or, um, fixed aperture. So it only shoots at f8. It's a reflex lens. It's a mirror, mirror as opposed to a, um, a refracting lens. So it uh, reflects light back in, onto the sensor from in there. Very cool bokeh. Very interesting looking. I have a shot I'll uh, link to on Flickr right here that I did with that lens. Uh, let's see what next. This lens I just got, and I just keep pulling it out for everything. Uh, walking around lens, uh, events, parties, uh, picnics. Thir the 35 to 71 uh, 2.8D. Just a fantastic lens. Just the autofocus isn't what you isn't you know incredibly fast, but for a 20 year old lens, it's good enough. And the picture quality on this is pretty much the same as the 24 to 70 2.8 the non VR version I hear the the VR version isn't quite as good as the non VR version but I haven't tested either of those lenses myself but love this lens ah the AF micro Nikkor 60 millimeter macro I love this lens too it's um, it's a jack of all trades lens, and when usually when you say jack of all trades, you say master of none. But this isn't uh, this isn't the case with this lens. Everything it does, it does well, and it's a it's a standard lens, a good walking around street photography lens, uh, macro obviously, bugs and and uh, flowers. Better for flowers because um, if at 60 millimeters, it's, it's kind of not doesn't get you in close enough, so you end up scaring the bugs away. But definitely for flowers. Uh, good for portraits on DX, everything, it's just a great lens. Uh, Alright, let's do this one next. This is the, this one's a mouthful. This is a Nikon E-Series 70-210 f4, constant aperture, telephoto lens. Uh, this lens is sharp. It, uh, you know, it's f/4 all the way through. Its zoom range. It's got close focus function at uh, at 70 millimeters, which is fun to play with. I mean, it's not one-to-one -one magnification ratio. I don't believe. Probably, probably more like one to four. I didn't really look it up, but uh, yeah, it's sharp. The bokeh is interesting. It's got an interesting look to it. I, I like the way the bokeh is. Um, it's got nice micro contrast as all of these lenses do so far. <coughs> A 
And now my favorite lens of all, the 135 2.0 AIS. This is just a phenomenal portrait lens. There's, I love the 135s. Um, the 2.8, I got a bunch of them every time I see one, I buy one. I just did an unboxing video of uh, as is lens that I'm pretty happy with because uh, I probably got a, ended up good, getting a good deal on it. But this lens is sharp at f2.0. The bokeh is phenomenal. Uh, micro contrast, very is excellent. Um, yeah, not really much else to say about that. I got a lot of lenses here. <laughs> And the last one, uh, this is my sports and wildlife lens. I was very skeptical about this lens when I saw it at first because I had the, the, the 55 to 200, which I didn't like at all. That was a kit lens on my D3300. And um, this, the 70 to 300 was rated by DxO mark as being very similar so I never really gave it much thought and, um, but when I um, started watching Ken Wheeler the angry photographer he was um, you know he's always down on <laughs> DxO mark and I and I understand why now because this is a phenomenal lens um, uh, f5.6 at 300 not particularly fast but for most people it's fine um, not a particularly known for micro contrast but um, for the price and what you get it's sharp the color rendition is good the bokeh is just okay but very fast autofocus sharp this lens is sharp it really is um, yeah, um, yeah, that's about it for that lens. That's all of them, right? Cool. Oh, I also have my rocket air in here. But, um, yeah, when I do model shoots, um, this is pretty much what I'll carry in this bag. <clears throat> I got another bag. I might do a, uh, what's in my bag for that with all my lighting and all, like, the little, uh, gadgets and stuff. I'll, I might do that at some point, but other than that, that's my, these are my main lenses and, main lenses and camera for, for the model stuff, and this will be my Action Wildlife, which I'm use on my D7100 there that I'm filming this on and also on the D on the D7100 right now is the uh, F or um, the 50 millimeter f1.8 pancake AIS e-series lens which I, I'm really liking I just got that from <laughs> somebody gave me that for free uh, last week so I'm enjoying it and it's uh, cool to shoot with so, yep, that's about it. Thanks for watching.